I recently played over 10 hours of One Piece Pirate Warriors 3 with my roommate Nathan. I don't like it quite as much as other Musou titles, even though it is a good game. And this begs the question, why? I have several theories as to why. The primary one being that, well, maybe it's just in an awkward middle ground, as Musou games go. It's not as mindless as some of the more relaxing entries in the genre, but it's also nowhere near stimulating enough to keep my brain juices flowing during play. The enemy officers are simply the only challenge, and to top that, the game is more about curb stomping them than genuinely contending with them. There are several mechanics built into Pirate Warriors 3 that exist to swing the momentum instantly and feverishly in your favor. This is highly rewarding, as it makes the player feel supremely powerful, but it also makes the opposition seem feeble in comparison. Sure, all the officers have their own powerful moves and flashy transformations, but yours trump theirs every time, and all your special meters fill up insanely fast. This ensures you're almost never out of options, even on the hardest stage in the game. The AI is kind of lackluster, too. The battles don't feel as dynamic as they do in many other Musou titles, partially because the enemies don't necessarily get more aggressive on higher difficulties. They just deal more damage and take more damage to go down. And as mentioned previously, you can swing the fight so hard in your favor that they never get a real chance to fight back. Even something as simple as the officers blocking your attacks more would be welcome. It feels like a solved game relatively quickly, and it's not even too difficult to optimize yourself from there. To be fair to the game, it's still far from bad or unpleasant. The player characters do have highly distinctive movesets and gimmicks. I love that Smoker deals more damage to enemies he's shrouded in smoke, even bosses. It does make dealing high damage swiftly even easier though. And I especially love how Buggy can detach his arms and legs, allowing him to perform two combos at once, which makes locking down enemies his specialty. But then again, everyone can lock down enemies with how swiftly your Muso and Kizuna meters fill. I suppose it just feels like I've seen it all. There is variety here, but I more or less end up falling back on the same strategies, and the battlefield is less compelling than in Dynasty Warriors proper. Don't get me wrong, 10 plus hours is a long time to invest in anything, and I certainly don't feel cheated, but I've barely scratched the overwhelming mountain of content the game proposes, and I've already had enough. I'll probably continue playing Dynasty Warriors 9 in its stead, and maybe someday find that lost copy of the original Pirate Warriors. の流れは決まったようだ。